electrons to nuclei, not even full molecules, just their nuclei, and then the molecules, and so on and so forth. But they're going to have to change some stuff, right? There's no way that we're just going to shoot off into space. We have to get to the point where we eat all of Mars, so that's going to change, and then we just skipped a whole lot in between. We went from being the size of a space station to the size of a star. That's a lot. You guys actually told me in the comments of last episode that when I finish a level, I could hit a little eye icon to get a detailed list of all the things that I can do. But in my mind, I thought that they would break down all of those items. For example, right now I can get a bunch of hydrogen and oxygen nuclei because we're in a puddle of water. But if I eat an ocean, would it be one ocean? Or would it be a hundred billion trillion quadrillion hydrogen and oxygen nuclei? I think it's probably for the best that they just say one ocean, because at least they have some context, but I don't know, that'd be really crazy math to see. And as we all know, people are clearly playing this game for the math, and not for the eating crap. I'm a nerd. You don't need to point it out. I'm, I'm just gonna eat things for your entertainment. Don't mind my stupid commentary. Do you think Disney could copyright strike water because their molecules look exactly like Mickey's face? Is that a possibility? Well, honestly, I wouldn't put it past any company at this point. I have no doubt that if they thought they could, they would. We're getting to the point where I'm eating quite a bit of water and iron in this puddle, and I'm really curious how we're going to transition from being in the puddle to running around on the floor. Like, that's one of the breaks. In between levels, they kind of skip a little bit, and I don't know how they're going to make those transitions work. But now we can just vacuum up this entire puddle. Somebody's got to do it. Instead, everybody else is skipping out on their chores, just roaming around the space station, diving into aliens' mouths. But don't worry, I'm on it. I'm not a toilet bowl cleaner, I'm actually a mop, apparently. A nanometer-sized mop, but a mop nonetheless. Oh, right. I completely forgot about this stage. We still have to move up to the viruses. The bromovirus chunk. And then what? Because this was... Oh, interesting. Okay. So now we'll take on whole bromoviruses. Oh, we're just eating little tiny chunks at a time. That makes a whole lot more sense. And then we'll move on to the bacterial pages. I think this might be my favorite size in any Tasty Planet game. And, and I know having a favorite Tasty Planet size is very weird and specific, but they just did such a great job representing all of these little creepy, crawly germs and bacteria, viruses, and all the little things that we know very much about. We don't know a whole lot about space rays, but this is stuff that's well studied, and it's definitely cool to see it in action. Again, didn't really expect them to be this squishy. Everything is very squishy in this game. Maybe I'm what's squishy? Never thought of that. That might not be the sound of me, like, biting down or stomping on them. It's just my soft, poop-like body enveloping them. Actually, that's a good point. Poop doesn't poop, so maybe the goo doesn't poop? In which case, is this the end of the universe? I still can't get over that whole poop is God, we come from God's butt theory I had earlier. Oh, it just struck me. At the end of one of these levels, when we were eating the microorganisms, not the bacteria, but the bigger stuff, we thought that we were in some kind of petri dish, but nothing ever came of it. They kind of skipped the whole jumping out of the dish thing. And I really hope that that's going to be the transition, because I would love to jump out on some kind of scientist's face. It's just what we aliens do. If we're not eating people, then we're jumping out of their face and putting our babies in their stomach and having it burst out their chest. <laughs> Are there more than one random gray goo? That's the thing. I, I still don't know anything about this creature, and I really doubt we're going to get any answers. I'm asking all the stupid questions. There's the source of all the iron that's floating around in the water, all the Martian space dust. And the okay. giant hairy boob creatures, yeah, these are more the microorganisms I was talking about. <laughs> Let's yeah, try course. not to piss them off, because we're now getting to the point where stuff wants to eat me back. Right? There's nothing but sunshine and lollipops and unicorn farts when you're small enough to not worry about predators, but now it's a dog-eat-dog robo-dog world. <laughs> and things are definitely going to get more aggressive. 
we could really use some more of these saggy tit monsters to get this guy off my butt. Oh god, there's more of them now. Here we go. <laughs> you probably knew I was getting out of hand, didn't you? You wanted to be a hero, you wanted to save the world, and now you're poop. It's so funny, I, I get a lot of comments on these videos saying stuff like, you know, what's with you and poop? You know, why are you making so many poop jokes? Or what's with you and butts? You're always talking about eating booty and things like that, and, you know, the answer is, it's a game about eating. The digestion is part of eating, and pooping is part of that, it's the funnier part of that. It's also really difficult not to make these jokes when things look like some kind of albino turd wrapped in four rubber bands. <laughs> then again, I did say that they have boobs for faces, and that has nothing to do with poop butts, so you know what? Sue me. I think we're actually... Yeah, you see that? Oh, no, hold on. That looks like the edge of a petri dish to me. So it shouldn't be long now, as long as I stop getting eaten by these guys. Don't put up a resistance. Uh, I really don't that appreciate that. Right. Sorry. Come on, come on. Just a little bit more. Okay. Well, what happened to the puddle from the comet? Because this isn't a puddle. This is just a bunch of drops of water amongst garbage. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense at all. I still wish that it was a Petri dish. That if they saw something weird was happening, they picked me up, they put me in a Petri dish, they observed. I guess if I jumped out at them, I was only, what, seven millimeters? It would have been like having a snowflake land on your face. But still, where are you, Robo Poochies? I know you're out there somewhere, I can tell. Usually there's a big nose waiting for you. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> A giant laser nose has no idea what's about to happen. I don't care if you have a laser snoot, okay? You're still going to be my poop. Where'd the other one go? There we go. Hold on. Hold on. Where'd it go? There's no glare within this space. Is that a thing? Don't tell me that's not a thing. Glare with in this space. Holy crap, is this ever a long level? I've already been doing this one level for 25 minutes, and we're less than halfway through. I did not enjoy mm. one level of Tasty Planet okay. to take over an hour. <laughs> this is why I edit so much out, by the way. I know a lot of people would love to see, like, the whole experience, but I just kind of edit out the repetitive boring stuff. You know, when I see me eat one person, and then again, when I see me eat one person over and over again for, like, five minutes. All the space we go, it definitely got it down all of that. Can I get you to go on now, please? No, I thought I could. I just was so close. Here we go. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go, y'all. Let's try it again. I can understand why somebody would not see me while I was eating food for me to say it's okay. But at the same time, it's not my fault that this place. Quicker and then it was craters? As always, there's only one way to find out. It is a Martian hill. I <laughs> called it! I knew well. that's what it was gonna be, because what else could it be? <laughs> and then a crater. Yeah, you know what? Tasty Planet is anything but unpredictable. I don't suppose we are just gonna devour the whole planet underneath us, are we? I guess technically we've done that to Earth before, it's just kind of surprising a little bit. Ooh. Now we're getting places. I can kind of understand eating a mountain, but how do you eat a crater? A crater is the absence of material. <laughs> Taking more away would just make the crater bigger. What are those, mountain ranges? So I'm guessing these little perky nip mountains that we've been eating aren't exactly the end goal. We want to move on to something bigger and better, like whatever you are. It's almost like a, a scar. I, I can't quite tell. No Martian mountains, just a mountain range. The scale is kind of off, but sure, I'll take it. I'm not a picky eater, okay? I'll, I'll take whatever you put in front of me. Watch us not even be on Mars. Watch this some kind of sound stage on Earth, or not. Okay, 
Well, that ramps up real quick. <laughs> we finish up the mountain ranges, then both poles, they decide to split and take it out sea level. Now we're looking to go devour an asteroid belt. We've made it to space. Fine, our baby. It took like 15 episodes of this game, but we are now in space and eating space junk in the Mega Meter. And we're comparable to Mars. Oh, hey, Earth. Long time no see. I'll be back for you in just a second. I need a couple more asteroids. Just gotta get a little tiny bit bigger, maybe? Oh, don't tease me like that. There's gotta be a smaller planet around here somewhere, right? I'm sure we could, uh, we have Mercury, perfect, Venus, and Earth. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna go in order. I see how it is. Jupiter is gonna be a completely different beast. But, maybe there's something else out here. Yeah, Uranus. I definitely want to eat Uranus. It's not a butt joke, shut up. 136 megameters. Oh, oh, Saturn. Okay, Jupiter. Mmm, well, there goes our home solar system. We have left is this one star. All these other little stars floating around. So where are the terrifying rays? We have a lovely buffet of stars out here, or they did at least. Yeah, they got red giants. And more red giants, because I can't see all the smaller ones anymore. Galaxies? Probably galaxies, right? But I thought all the lights in the galaxies are supposed to be stars. For the most part. So why are there stars bigger than galaxies? That's a little weird. Ow, ow, okay, and they really burn. The other thing you really gotta wonder about is if those are galaxies, then what's... Oh, it's a nebula. Okay. Alright, and then there are bigger nebulas? Like I said, I can't even fathom the scale. I have no idea what's going on. I'm just eating bigger and bigger things. But what I was going to say is you got to wonder about the stuff in the background, right? Because is it just one giant thing behind me, or is it a bunch of little things in between? It's probably just a bunch of what I'm floating around in from a distance. I'm so big now that they haven't even given my size a full name. I went from gigameters to a few. And I would imagine that this is the universe, right? All of these nebulas and the background would combine to make up our universe. And then if we eat all of that, then there should just be darkness, I suppose. And then I could maybe dine on darkness as dessert. I get it. The purple and green stuff are nebulas. That's wonderful. What with the Christmas lights? Ouch! Ouch! Okay, okay, Christmas lights hurt. Don't touch. Maybe if I ask really nicely, I can touch just a little bit. Star cluster. Weird. Whoa, okay. <laughs> so now we're moving on to star clusters, and I am parsecs in size. Is that a parsec measurement of time? Am I losing my mind? I remember now, it is a measurement of distance, and Han Solo uses it as a measurement of time. Okay, I knew there was some kind of stupid mistake with it that everybody used. <laughs> I obviously haven't pointed out, because I got nothing else to commentate on. It's just a bunch of white fluff balls in space. It really goes to show just how amazing life is. Just think about how we were in a little tiny drop of water, seeing all these amazing things, and now that we're up here looking at all of existence, and it's just a, a bunch of floaty colors, pretty much. <laughs> like, there isn't that much going on, to be perfectly honest. Maybe? Whoa. Whoa, that's, that's real weird. I'm, I'm so little. What? Okay, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll try to look at the little tiny ends of these things. This is different. What is going on now? So is this the universe? Might be the galaxy, not entirely sure, but in what? There's always a tipping point, and we've reached it. Oh, it is a galaxy. It's galactic dust. I see. I was gonna say, I can see my eyes now, but... Hard to miss them. Okay, an elliptical galaxy. So now we're moving on to eating entire galaxies which make up the universe. Okay, I, I got it. Everything's under control. I think some of these galaxies are devouring other galaxies. You guys saw that, right? 
<laughs> the little ones smash into the bigger ones. They just kind of get consumed to become one slightly bigger galaxy. Does that mean I'm a galaxy, technically? Right? I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of stuff living inside of me. They might still be living, not entirely sure. Actually, you know, it doesn't matter. You know what? A, a galaxy doesn't need to have life. Like I said, life isn't the center of the universe. So, you know what? If I want to be a strong, independent galaxy, I will be. As the newest galaxy, my first decree is that you all stop eating other galaxies, okay? I'm the boy who eats. I'm the one who gets it all, so please stop it. <laughs> Follow my rules. The biggest one is the one who sets out the rules. That's how this works, right? Galaxy groups? No, no. There will be no unionizing in my universe. <laughs> Full galaxy groups now. Oh, my God. Okay, we're, we're getting near the end, though. But that's the thing. Once you get up to the repetitive parts, which is pretty much most of space, you're really just going for that end game. You want that ultimate payoff of devouring everything. Here's an interesting thought. If you were living in one of these galaxy clusters and you were eaten by the goo, would you even notice? We can't even see that far. Like, your sun would still be there, your solar system would still be there. It would be one giant unit inside the goo. So, for all we know, we're inside giant goo right now. Just waiting for him to poop us out. <gasps> really? <laughs> I'm the god around here, okay? You're a false prophet. I'll prove you wrong yet. Get away from me, you flying spaghetti monster. I should have known, right? I should have known you would be here and that they wouldn't... I, I, I spared you, giant spaghetti monster, for now. Now you will see my true glory as the one and only god. <laughs> Why did I let him go there? I thought that was going to be the end. I thought, okay, yeah, there won't be any turtles because they've done that before. They just decided to go with something else, like the spaghetti monster. Whoa, okay. That's really cool. That is really cool! I like that! So now, we're eating universes, technically, but they're identical to quarks, which is the smallest known thing that we started at. So we come full circle. So what's gonna come after this? There has to be something after this, right? They're not gonna make me play one level for a full hour to get 50 gigaparsecs, and then... See absolutely nothing, you have to be kidding me! <laughs> okay, that was a really cool ending though. The fact that they made it come full circle actually gave me goosebumps. I really appreciate that. But still, I wanted something more than the spaghetti monster that I let go free. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for Tasty Planet Forever, guys. And I gotta say, the Grey Goo did live up to my expectations as I had hoped, but I just wish that we could have seen more of that from this game. No, and I know it doesn't make a whole lot of sense for a penguin to be flying through space eating galaxies, but does any of this make sense? Well, guys, we're still playing. It doesn't need to. At least look forward to this video. I hope you we enjoyed. haven't found the crab. The crab layer yet. Suck the life out of you, we're gonna blow the life into you. Are you good now? Ew, 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 ooh, oh, like roots. I was gonna say, ooh, little snaky legs. What's up, guys? Welcome to Little School 4, and potentially Little School 5. I know a lot of people in the comments have liked that and said, well, if I'm gonna play 4, I should play 5 in the same video. And I really hope that that doesn't mean that they're just short, crappy games. I would expect them to get better as time goes on, but I usually like to have it so that one game makes one video. We'll try four, and if it ends up being awful, then maybe we'll move on to five right away. I will say at the beginning, though, big props to everybody who left me comments but didn't spoil anything. I'm fine with going into a playthrough incredibly confused. Makes for good watching. Accessing. Analyzing map system. Analyzation process complete. Little School 4. 
Well, that's our classroom, I would assume. Are we in the Matrix? That was a weird intro for one of these games. We're all older, though. Look, look at everybody. We have Cokehead Zack and Five and Greg and Smiley and Diz. Diz? I don't remember Diz. Because <laughs> he looks kind of alien, but we all do. I look like a sentient nose. Smiley is terrifying. And then we have our teacher, Mr. Munch. Isn't Chubb's last name Munch? And his mom, Mrs. Munch, was the cafeteria worker? I mean, I can definitely see where they're from. Okay, so let's see what all the kids- What are you up to, Diz? Oh. Oh, no, did, did you just kill Diz? I never even got to speak to him. What? What? Did you just kill me? Did he just send me to the middle of the earth? Or what? What? I was already confused, man. Phyllis teacher, Mr. Munch, was the original architect of Riddle University. Oh, we're in university now. The school was built above a long pit of lava that he himself dug near an active underwater volcano. Underwater? What? His plan to murder Phil Eggtree to forever rid him of this world succeeded. There's no way that guy could dig a hole. Did you see him? He was like a potato. And no one cared. Every other student of Riddle University eventually died from car wrecks, old age, unforeseen disasters, and drug overdoses. Each one on their deathbed whispered their final wish. Please don't let there be any more Riddle School games. Wait, that's the end of the game? That was really weird. Maybe I got like a weird alternate ending right off the bat. Don't talk to Diz. <laughs> Don't talk to the weird class in school or else it's just gonna ruin everything. Let's try again. Mr. Munch, I believe we should have a word. No, no, don't use your chubby little hands to burn me, no. Oh, come on. We have a poster, we have a thermostat, a whiteboard, some posters, the hallway. Do I need to distract him so that he doesn't murder me? Look at the size of the school. <laughs> this has to be a long game. I don't understand. Okay, Smiley, help me. No, no, stop using your... There has to be a way to make him stop doing that. There is absolutely no way to make him stop doing that. That's all of Riddle School 4. That's all there is. Why? That is... So random for a game, there's Riddle School 5 and there's two Riddle Transfers, so why would they have a random throwaway game where you can't actually do anything and, and then they hope to never make another one? I'm incredibly confused. Hopefully this is actually a game. I'd like this to be a video. Are you a game? Please be a game. We're back in the Matrix, that's not a good start. Well, everyone had seen soon our dreams will become reality. Just as all of our prisoners' realities have become dreams. We all know our new prisoners were taken from Riddle Elementary School. Enlighten our listeners as to the reason we're here already. I was getting to that part, Viz. This meeting is primarily to discuss these human suspects and their new dreams. Their behavior, after all, is why and how we are going through with our plan. Yes, because evildoers deserve nothing more than the taste of their own evil. <laughs> you can tell by the red font he was evil. I really nailed the voice right off the bat. <laughs> oh, it's Fred. Fred, male. Currently dreaming. This is Fred. Thank you. Uh, we can read the caption next to the corner, Diz. Okay. Oh, Diz. So, red guy is Viz. Green guy is Diz. Diz was the, the weird-looking alien kid in Real School 4. Why don't you turn the TV up if so you're not he have watching to do with it? This? I'm enlightening everyone, just like you said. Fred, in his dreams, does uh -huh. as close to nothing as he can manage. Of the prisoners we have, he seems to be the least useful right now. We have Smiley. Female, not smiling right now, which makes her look even more terrifying. Smiley smiles constantly within her dreams. We've tried to find intended flaws in her ways, not yet to any avail. 
If one human is proven to be scum, the rest are no cleaner. Her face is nothing but a cover for her ugly desires, such as Bill Egbert's day. Whoa, calm it down there, Biz, okay? You don't know. She's the only girl in school. Let's be honest, Bill is clearly going to go after her. We have a cokehead Zach, who is once again going through withdrawals. Zach here was shivering long before he was abducted from that school. Yeah, we, we already know why. Too much booker sugar. It seems impossible that he would be so ongoingly chilly. There is a chance that by looking into his unusual condition, we could power a weapon capable of freezing that pathetic planet Earth. Taking it a little far there, Biz. Tone down the evil. You're at an 11. We need you at about a 6. Mm hmm. I could have sworn I was the one telling the presentation. And then we have Bill. And here we have the reason for our master plan. Had we not witnessed firsthand Phil escaping from his own school, oh no, Earth would not have become our first target of destruction. So because I was successful in all the other riddle schools, they want to blow up the Earth? That's not cool. We can get into his brain, but what matters most is what we can try to get out of it. Knowing the enemy is the best way to defeat them. Biz, a.k.a. Sun Tzu. Uh, Diz? I can't remember what the plan is exactly. Who are you? Quiz, you're completely useless. So we have Biz, Diz, and Quiz. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep this straight. Hopefully nobody else joins the conversation. Well, I can clarify. With the knowledge we received from these three dream captives, it's planned we completely freeze their homeworld, planet Earth. Three? Molly, Phil, Fred, and, uh, Cokehead Zach. So there's four. Who isn't dr- Oh, I bet you I'm not dreaming. This procedure is to be repeated to other wrongdoing planets. I have one question. Go ahead, quiz. When you were talking about, uh, just a second ago, you, know, you said from the knowledge we received from these three dream captives. Wait, no quiz. Bring up the, the hard name question. Didn't you mean to say four? Of course. Just a slip of the tongue. We, we have one now. Uh, hey, why isn't the transmitter turned on? <laughs> Okay, I think it's actually a game. We're, like, escaping from some kind of weird prison? <laughs> some kind of evildoer's lair? I like it. Riddle School 5! Okay, thank god we actually have a game. Cool. So, I'm guessing it's not just gonna let me leave. I don't think I can open that door. It's barred and has no doorknob. That probably means it's remote activated from the other side. Okay, uh, we have a light bulb. I have a feeling that light bulb will be the only bright part of my day. I say that very lightly. Dude, we just started. Do you really need to hit me with a double pun? That's kind of a dick move. Let's just go through the vent cover. Uh, if it wasn't screwed to the wall, I could move this cover and get through. Oh, we got little screws. Uh, I think it's common sense, but I need something to unscrew these. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll just go in and get a screwdriver. From your barren, empty jail cell. I don't suppose somebody smuggled one into your pillow? Maybe we can shank another prisoner? That's a pillow, but it feels more like a lump of stiff clay. Uh, under the bed, we have a little coin. Alien, what, alien coin? He is an alien! I said that he looked like a weird alien, so his quiz and... Uh, biz quiz and uh, diz, geez. They're, they're, they're all aliens. Good to know. Okay, wait, I can use this, right? This is probably good for, oh, come on. Oh, I need to click it. There we go. Okay. We're just gonna take these screws off all willy-nilly. And there's one missing. Oh, I can take them. Okay. So, are we good? 
I wasn't missing a screw. We got three screws anyway, and we're out. Okay, yep. I've decided I don't want to do that again. Yeah, definitely feeling the whole alien... Are we on a spaceship? We're, we're on a spaceship, aren't we? Looks like I'm subject number 9417. It would seem to me that I'm subject number 9417 in something. So today, I've only been the subject of a few cheap school English papers. We have some kind of Bellsprout statue. There's a button on this duck statue thing, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, why don't we go check the tile device? Uh, oh. Oh, I need to do these. And it, it changes the one that I click on and all of the ones touching them? Okay. So, if I want to do that, one, it'd be... Oh, crap. Uh, something like... Oh, my God. This is going to be really complicated. Oh, my God. Finally. That took forever. It is so complicated. But I got 4701. So, hopefully that does anything. Did that do anything? Let's go upstairs, or up ramp, and check the weird portal. Oh, subject 1831 with a smiley face. It's Smiley. How you doing, Smiley? Can I get you out of there? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, I really hope there's a better way to wake up my friends. Uh, I'll do my best. Uh, got anything under your bed? I see a tissue, obviously used. There's no way I'm touching it. What has Smiley been using a tissue for? Okay, so we need to find a way to turn off the force field. Maybe that thing turned off one of the kids' force fields? Uh, we have the flower room. Um, this is slightly concerning. Solar light, that's kind of cool. A little sun in a dome. I guess the flowers get their solar energy from this miniature star. I would most likely be a fried egg tree if I tried doing something to it. Probably a good idea. We have a pot of dirt flower. Ooh. This plant's not immediately dying, so I'll take it. Uh, okay, we, we got a flower. What about the little dirty flowers? I'll take you too. Oh, There's a winner every one to two minutes, which is unbelievable, where no other app can see it. Oh my god! I just, what? Do you see this? God, oh my god! Oh my god! Holy! Oh. 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 I can't even think of anything to say about that. That's a little weird. Why did the mute cat cross the street? I don't know, you tell me. I don't know, it didn't say. Oh. Well, now I need to know. I just googled it, and it had to explain the joke to me because I'm an idiot. It never said because it's mute. Not because it's a cat and they can't speak. No, it's because it's mute. Yeah, that, that's a stupid joke, and this is a stupid room. We're moving on. We're going to Subject 7272, otherwise known as Fred. Ooh, Fred has a key card. I'll take that. And then, Fred, you are... Yep, still, still asleep. Tiles didn't do anything to you. Okay, yeah, better way to wake him up. Got it. Under the bed? See a photo of a puking gorilla under the bed. It doesn't quite tickle my fancy. Not into that kind of thing, huh? Okay. We're missing a student, though, right? Where is...